In Snapforce, reports and analytics is extremely simple. So in this video, let's go over how to create your own dashboards and add your own reports to them. Uh, so to get started, let's create our first dashboard. On the left sidebar over here, we have this search menu where you could search for specific reports. And then we have our dashboard section, which will show us our current dashboards and our report section, which will list all the available reports that we have to choose from. So let's go ahead and create a new dashboard. Let's call it our sales dashboard. And uh, this will be our first new dashboard. It's completely empty. So to get started, all we have to do is either create a brand new report for it or drag an existing report onto it. So let's go ahead and just use one of the existing reports to start with. Let's choose our deals by stage. All right, so this is our first report that we're gonna drag onto it. We can resize these to, to have it fit however you want it. All right, so here's our first one, deals by stage. Now you can change this if you don't like the style of it or you wanna see some other data. All you have to do is just click into the report and this will let you choose and change any of the data. So or any of the metrics for the data. So for example, if you wanted to filter and just see the current month, you know, right now we're seeing the full year, right, by expected close date. So, you know, you could change how you're viewing the data, right, right now we're viewing it by expected close date for the current monthly interval, which is why we're seeing each month side by side. And then we're measuring it by the total number of deals and we're segmenting by the stage. All right, so you could change all of this information. You could also change the chart type as well. All right, so if you wanted to look at a bar chart instead, if you prefer that, you could do it like this, all right, and choose the bar type option, okay? So that's all up to you guys, um, but let's keep going. So let's go back to our sales dashboard. All right, here's our first chart, and we can, we can increase the size so it all fits, especially since there's a bunch of different stages on here. All right, um, and let's uh, keep going here. So let's also add on activities by type. So this might be useful. This is showing us how many activities we have by type. I think it'll be more useful though if we were able to see how many activities each of our salespersons or each of our salespeople did so far for the month. So let's go ahead and add that and change this a little bit. So let's change this, this chart to show us how many activities by type per salesperson. So depending on the chart type, it gives us different options. So to see what, to be able to get what, what we're looking for here by user, by type, uh, we would have to change it from a pie or donut over to one of these other options, either a line chart, a bar chart. Um, so let's go ahead and choose our bar chart. And let's see, so once we choose a bar chart, it gives us another option where it lets us view by any of these other fields. So we could either view by a date field, a pick list, or a user field. So let's go ahead and view the data by owner. All right, so this will now segment or group the data you know, by owner. Now it looks like Robert Klein is the only user in the system to have entered activities. And you can see how many activities he's entered so far. So this is perfect. This is uh, definitely useful for a sales manager type report. So we can now see how many deals or how many activities each of our salespeople are actually doing so far. So let's, uh, let's definitely keep that. I think we should change this one so it fits better. Let's change this to a, to a normal, um, to the way it was prior. There we go, this will fit better. So let's go back now. So now we have two charts on our dashboard, a deals by stage and a activities by type. Let's shrink this a little bit. Perfect, and you'll see that it actually resizes the charts as you're as you're resizing in real time. Uh, so that's very useful, um, very intuitive. Well, let's add one more just for this uh, you know quick video. Let's also add let's also add one. Um, actually, let's create our own report, a brand new report. So to do that, just click on this little plus sign next to the reports option, and let's create a uh, deals by pipeline. In case you have multiple pipelines that you guys have for your sales process, let's see how many, how much, you know, expected revenue or sales we're expecting to bring in for the month, right, by pipeline. So let's do a simple report like that. And let's change the segment view from lead source to pipeline. 
And we can see here the majority of our of our sales are for our default pipeline and we only have about 0.59% for the onboarding pipeline. So that might not be the best example for this uh, for this video, but let's go ahead and um, change the measure by to amount. Uh, so look at that. So that definitely changed it for us. So, you know, um, that's definitely more useful, but let's change this one more time. Instead of doing it by, by pipeline, let's just do it by, by, by status instead. How many deals we have by status? So either one or open. So we have, well, let's change this from amount to record count. So it looks like we have for the month so far, you know, six deals that have, that have been won and 401 that are currently open and expected to close for the month. So that's 98% open and we've only closed 1.47% of the open deals so far. So that's also good, you know, information to know. Now again, you know, this is demo data. So, you know, your, your team is obviously going to be different depending on, depending on, on what you're looking for, that kind of a thing. Now, as you add more reports to your system, this might really start to fill up here. So you have this search option. Uh, this will search in real time. So go ahead and just type in, for example, you know, D E A, you know, and it'll filter in real time for you. So, you know, we're searching for our deals report. So it'll show us we have three deals reports here. So this search option is definitely useful. And we can just go ahead and uh, drag this new deals by pipeline report onto the onto the dashboard, and uh, you know, and that is a good example, a good starting point for how to create your own dashboards, how to add them to the system, how to add reports, create reports, drag and drop reports, and and even customize some of the reports. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with it. We didn't get into filtering data and filtering your different reports, you know, by date ranges and things like that, but we will do that in future videos. I hope this was helpful. Uh, like and subscribe.